What's up guys, my name is Yuan Lund and today I'm checking out the McRocklin suit from Polychrome DSP. The McRocklin suit features four uniquely voiced amps, an acoustic, clean, edge and gain to give you huge tonal variations, all the way from shimmery cleans, brutal high gain tones to scorching leads. Together with a bunch of drive pedals, powerful equalizers, 15 fully produced mixed ready speaker chains and much more. So let's head over to the DAW and check it out. Alright, so this is how it looks when you load it up. Let me first say that I have no further post or pre-processing done to the guitar sound in this demo other than an instance of flatline on this master out here which is mainly for the listening volume for you guys. The same goes with the demo song in the beginning, I hope you liked it. No further processing done to the guitars other than the settings here in this plugin so this is an amazing guitar suit that i've got going here but let's just uh, jump right in and uh, check it out starting off from the top here you have an uh, amazing amount of presets I believe there's like over 300 of them. So you can easily find a preset that you can start off with and then take it from there and tweak it to your liking. So I really like that they've included a bunch of presets from the beginning. So the presets here, you can save your own as well. If you press this uh, horns button here, that gives you the preset that's chosen as a favorite of yours as a starting point when you load it up that's the preset that starts up with further on here it's an input level a gate a stereo widener and an output and next up here is the four different amps that you get in this plugin an acoustic a clean amp the edge amp and a gain amp starting off from the acoustic you see a bunch of knobs here the gain bass middle treble presence and a master pretty self-explanatory and down here you have a bunch of profiles which is basically four different acoustic frequency responses and you get access to a pre-fx section which is the heat presser which i come back to in a minute the eq section for an eight band eq and the post fx which is the delay and reverb chorus and compressor so let's check out how it sounds <laughs>
Yep, it's a cool way to change the sound just by clicking through these profiles here. But as you can hear, you can do vastly different uh, tonal choices with just uh, turning these knobs as well, just as a standard amp. And besides the normal amp knobs you have here, you have access to the pre-FX, the EQs, and the post-FX, which is the delay and reverb. And starting off with the pre-FX, you have this heat presser here, which is like a compressor, but with a bunch of extra features to it, not just a regular compressor. And uh, you can compress it, you can add warmth to it, saturate the sound, the signal, that is, boost it from zero to 100%. It has a tight and bright switch here. The tight switch acts like a EQ, cuts the lowest frequencies and the highest frequencies for a tighter sound, basically, and can add some brightness to it and crank the levels all the way up to 48 decibels, if you please. <laughs> Down here, you have a synth octaver, uh, which is exactly as how it sounds. Increase or decrease the mix if you'd like. And and you have an envelope filter here. So that's pretty cool. Next up you have either a four band EQ or an 8-band EQ like this. And the post FX section uh, includes a delay, reverb, or a chorus and a compressor. And for the delay, you have a bunch of different types of delays, stereo, pong, or grain. And for the reverb, you have three different types of reverb. You have shop, space, and dream. And all these together gives you a really nice uh, possibility to add some extra juice to your tones, either for a spacey clean or a epic lead tone. Next up is the clean amp. And as you can see, uh, besides the general amp knobs here, it changes a bit in the look of the GUI here. And that's because besides the heat presser and the synth octaver, which you can access the same way you could with the acoustic amp, you also have access to the four different drive pedals, the attacker, shredder, the riffer, and the viber. The attacker and shredder are two renditions of the classic screamer overdrive, whilst the riffer is modeled as a boss overdrive-ish, and the viber is like a classic British amp in a box overdrive. Moving on, you can also gain access to five different speaker and amp combinations here, and it's the same with the edge and gain amp as well. You can see there's five different variations of amp and speaker combinations for those as well. It gives you a total of 15 mix ready IRs down here. And to the right here, you can tweak the resonance, air, low cut and high cut. You can also turn off the speakers if you'd like to use your own IR or a third party IR loader after the plugin. But I think these IRs are really great and tailored to this amp, so I urge you to try these out first. And as with all the four amps, you also have access to the EQ and the post FX. So let's check out the clean amp and hear how it sounds. Let's engage the attacker. Nice 
broken up tones there. Oh, there you go. Turn down the level. Nice rock tones there. Fiber. Sounds really good. Uh, you can actually, if you want, you can uh, add all this in together. And maybe you want to turn on the gate a bit. Maybe if you want to go really close, you can just. Uh... Yeah, you can engage all of them together. So, but be mindful <laughs> of that. It's not a really good idea. <laughs> well, it's fun though. Yeah, so that's the clean amp. Let's move over to the edge amp. And that's described as a low gain tube amp with an integrated boost and a jazzy tone stack right here. Uh, I think you can get some cool hard rock semi metal tones out of it as well, uh, as far as I've tried it anyway. So let's uh, start off by just uh, hearing how it sounds uh, when you load it up. Yeah, pretty low gain. <laughs> that cool broken up there. Now let's add the boost. Nice. Some semi hard rock there. Let's add the shredder to it and set it as the classic tube screamer ish setting. Level all the way up, drive all the way down, and some added tone and see what we can get out of it. <laughs> can call that hard rock any day. Still nice clarity to the tones. And uh, not at all muddy. Let's turn off the boost. Add the boost really helped to push the amp and made it a lot tighter. So let's check out a couple of different uh, speaker combinations. I can really tell the difference between these two. Let's check out the next. Yeah, really cool. So that was the edge amp, and let's move over to the gain amp, the last one here. 
and sounds like this when you load it up. So this amp by itself is also uh, featured as a low gain amp, but as you can hear, it has plenty of room if you add either one of these uh, drives to really crank it up as a high gain metal monster if you want. So let's just uh, start off by tweaking these and then jump straight into the different types of dry pedals here and see what tones we can get out of it. But let's start off here. <laughs> Let's check out the different mic and speaker combinations here. First one was uh, this one that you just heard. And moving over to this one. cool different tonal variations to them and let's check out what the different uh, drive pedals can do to the sound first off the attacker <laughs> let's turn on the gain on the amp itself add some drive to the pedal bit boxies let's cut out some mids add some brightness some attack yeah nice how about the shredder A really nice and tight gain on the amps. I uh, really like the sound of this one. Let's add some drive to it and crank up some more tones. <laughs> Sounds really cool. Try it back with the attacker. Change the speaker. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it sounds really good. Nice, clean, and tight ring to the amp. Uh, let's check out the riffer. A bit more mushier sound, but really cool as well. Check out the Viber. cool fuzzy sound there <laughs> and for me personal favorite are the shredder and attacker because i really like the the sound of a classic screamer pedal and uh, this attacker might nudge a bit to the precision dry pedal with the attack and uh, switch here uh, it's a bit to my ears anyway uh, i think i really like that one as well <laughs> So you can hear if I crank the attack. As you can hear, the more I crank the attack, the more it tightens up the low end, and which is really nice and handy if you have a low tuned guitar as I have it here. This baritone scaled solo guitar is tuned to A right now. So it's pretty low tuned, but really it um, clears it up and it it's really tight sound with using this attacker. But take away the attack and it just opens up as a normal dry pedal. So the next feature to go over is this pre-FX section here where you have your the heat presser and the synth octaver and with the heat presser you get a compressor uh, warmth which is a saturator knob and you can switch here if you'd like to compress the signal and then saturate it or vice versa with this uh, chain switcher here and down here you have a boost a tight and a bright switch and the tight switch uh, cuts off uh, the lowest uh, rumble and a bit higher fizz so you get a tighter sound basically and the bright switch adds brightness and a level knob that goes all the way up to 48 decibels if you want that <laughs> it's pretty exaggerated but could be cool nice to have it if you combine it with reduced uh, output and then crank the level here you get really cool results with that and the synth octaver is as it sounds you can just uh, play through that and you can hear how that sounds <laughs> With the envelope filter here, you can change the sound. And the mix knob, choose how much of the direct signal you want. Yeah, cool sound. But going back to the heat presser, if we activate that, I have it on the edge amp and there's no and drive pedals engaged. And let's see uh, what it does to the sound. If we compress it a bit, add some saturation, boost it, and add some level. Let's see before and after. Really low gain. Yeah, as you can hear, really 
warms up the sound, give it more saturation and more feel to the tones. It's really cool. You can crank some more boost to it. Flick between pre and post compression. Let's add the boost in the amp itself. Tight it up. Maybe add some brightness. Go crazy and add the shredder to it as well. Just like that, we turned a really low gain amp into a shred monster. Sounds really cool. So let's check out the post effects, the delay and reverb and chorus. And delay first off sounds like this when you use it the stereo version. And uh, this sync button here allows you to sync the BPM to the your project's BPM or uh, have it for milliseconds if you would rather have that and you can see the milliseconds here. So either sync it and then you have one fourth, one half or one eighth or dotted or triples or you can just choose the millisecond if you'd rather have that. Let's keep it at sync and let's check it out. <laughs> sounds really good and this ducking feature here is also really cool it allows you to set how much delay is supposed to be over the part when you're playing so if you set it to 100% it will not engage the delay until you stop playing so kind of like this so it no delay over the parts that you're playing but if you take it all the way down to zero here the delay goes over, 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 over the parts that you're playing. So that's really cool if you have a lead part and you just want your notes to be audible and then when you stop playing the delay goes over and it sounds really cool. Let's add a bit more ducking. Really makes for a really clean delay sound that way. Pong delay sounds like this. Nice. And the grain delay sounds like this. Some modulation to it almost. And add the grains. Really spooky. Let's try it with 0% ducking. <laughs> really cool. Awesome. Moving over to the reverb and the shop reverb sounds like this. Down the mix. 
Space sounds like this. Cool, but spacier, as the name says. And the dream sounds like, like a shimmery reverb. Let's check it out. Really cool shimmery dream there. Let's crank up some modulation, maybe. Bloom and the mix. Let's see how that sounds. really cool chorus pretty simple just a matter of choosing how much chorus you want or less sounds like this just adding a bit chorus to a lead part can really go a long way Added together with maybe the shop reverb. Take down the mix knob. Add some stereo delay. nice and the compressor does just as it says just compresses the signal more or less sounds like this really cool way to just uh, crank up all the effects and make them more audible basically. Yeah, so that's it with all the settings on the amp. Let's check out a couple of uh, factory presets here, which I really liked. Let's just pick one here that I really liked and that's uh, Angry Metal, for instance. Who doesn't like Angry Metal, right? <laughs> Sounds like this. <laughs> really cool for riffing let's see if we can get a lead tone going the skyscraper lead that sounds cool hunters what can that be Yeah, so really cool presets that are included here. So I urge you just to 
go through them, have fun, and then just uh, find a preset that you think uh, is close to what you're after and then tweak it thereafter to get the tones that you want. Yeah, so there you have it. As you've heard, really huge variations of tones you can get out of this amp suit. And I really like how the gain is really tight if you want it or really bloomy and expressive if you set it the correct way. And together with a huge amount of presets, you can really dive into a preset and then tailor it to your liking. So I really like that as well. Intuitive GUI and really easy and a fun way to get really great tones out of this plugin. So have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching my demo. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer. And if you want to support me, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I release a new video. Put a thumbs up to this one, it really matters to me. And until the next one, see you later.